Hello, my name is Julie Sebacher and I'm an actress. You're set to join Institut Paul Bocuse and the world of hospitality. Two reasons why it is vital for you to project a positive image. So, in two videos that complement one another, I'm going to give you a few tips to help you feel more at ease when it's time for you to speak. Forget your fears. You'll see that with practice, you'll have no trouble mastering these techniques. This first video is devoted to nonverbal communication. The second one will deal with speech training. Because before you even open your mouth, you have already given consciously or subconsciously a lot of information about yourself just from your gestures and posture. Your nonverbal language sends out messages that can work in your favor and add impetus to your words, making you more convincing and captivating to your audience. Or, on the other hand, it can totally contradict what you are meant to be saying and dilute the power of your message. So, no need to panic. Let's take a look at how we can tip the balance in your favor. Tip number one, identify your goals and what energy you want to get across. Communication is a kind of two-way osmosis. You give to and receive from the other person. What impression do you want to give to your audience? That you are dynamic, efficient, receptive, attentive, reassuring? Your physical posture and the energy you aim to convey must match the situation. So, start by asking yourself what vibes you want to share with your audience. In this particular situation, do you want to come across as a calm person or someone full of energy. Just by defining your communication needs, you'll have already geared your body up accordingly. Your breathing is another reliable tool which can help calm your mind and body in a stressful situation. Tip number two, accept your initial state. What does your posture tell you? How do you feel right now? Are you enthusiastic, tired, intimidated? Are you quietly confident or, on the contrary, has that little knot of anxiety crept into your stomach? There's nothing negative about the way you feel, on the contrary. Now that you have taken note of your initial state, embrace it rather than trying to fight it. Feeling intimidated? All right. Where is that tension? Does it tend to bring your shoulders up? Do you cross your arms as protection? This is a normal reflex and it's perfectly fine. But now that you are aware of it, you can breathe deeply, relax your shoulders, unfold your arms and trust yourself. You can do it. By being aware of your body language, you can work with it to project the image you want your audience to see. Here are a few examples of postures you can try to modify in order to be more interactive and communicate better. Stress-related tension in the shoulders, normal reflex of crossed arms, hunched back, which can give the impression of feeling dejected or disheartened. If you're standing, place both feet firmly on the ground. Resting on one leg can give an impression of instability and is less likely to inspire the trust that might be placed in you if you're standing up straight. Our body is a mine of information. Observe your body language and that of others. Check, try and rectify your posture. Even when you are actually speaking, you can still keep an eye on your body language. Shoulders moving up again? All right, no worries. Breathe, relax and trust yourself. Tip number three. We communicate with our eyes too. Your expression connects you with your audience. Aim to catch the eyes as quickly as you can. This doesn't mean you have to look straight at them from start to finish, of course. This would make anyone feel uncomfortable. The important thing is that initial look when the interaction is launched. Once your communication is up and running, your audience will follow what you're saying, at least for a while. All you have to do is re-establish eye contact at regular intervals to ensure you're still being listened to. Eye contact 
is important even to end your speech. You see, it's not that complicated. To sum up, what energy do you wish to convey? What is your initial state? What is your body telling you? And never forget, eye contact is your ally. For more tips, watch our second video about voice and speech. And don't hesitate to view the seconds again and again if necessary. You can also sign up for the Campus TV channel, a real mine of information for students looking for peace of mind and fulfillment. See you soon.